We have some herbs and spices here. And so herbs and spices come from leaves, roots, barks, seeds, flowers, and even the fruits of plants. The taste and smell of herbs is so distinct and pronounced. They are the powerhouse of the vegetable world and they're packed full of phytochemicals or plant chemicals, which provide the antioxidant benefits we need. Let's go to one of our kinder care families to see which spices Jane, Dan, Avery, and Adam are enjoying. What does it smell like? It smells well with the tree. It smells like a tree? Smell it. It's a tree. Good job. At home, let your child explore the spices that you have. You can remove the lids and let them take in the aroma with your help, of course. And you can try rubbing some fresh basil leaves, rosemary, or lavender between your hands for some sensory play with your baby or toddler. The oils from these plants are quite vibrant. You'll enjoy watching your baby's expression as they breathe in the aroma for the first time. So when I'm shopping for herbs and spices, I usually try and avoid the spices in the glass jars because they're just more expensive. They make them that way to make it easy, but if you spend a little bit of time looking around the store, you can generally find other spices that are a lot more economically priced. So herbs and spices can lose their flavor rather quickly. So it's great to buy small amounts of spices no more than you'd need for two to three months at a time. And you can keep them in your own glass jars if you buy them in bulk. Um, a lot of the grocery stores will have containers where you can just buy small bits at a time and you can just bring them home, put them in a glass jar, and that way you don't have to worry about having a lot of them and have them go bad.